Hey, do you know that underscores play a small role in encapsulation? Oh, wow, but how? See, underscores can change access to data inside and outside of a class. This leaves us with the term access modifiers. Okay, now, what is this? In Python, access modifiers are used to control the accessibility of the data, ensuring the security of the data by preventing unauthorized access and exploitation. Moving further, we have three types of access modifiers, public, protected, and private. Ugh, now what are these? Consider this example. We can see a class named access is defined with a constructor method that takes three parameters, a, b, and c, along with the self. Now here's the main part. First off, we can see the value of a is assigned to the instance variable public. Since there are no underscores before the variable name, it is considered a public attribute. It can be accessed from anywhere, both inside and outside the class. Moving on, the single underscore before the variable name protected indicates that it is a protected attribute. This is a convention suggesting that it should not be accessed directly outside the class and its subclasses, though it is not strictly enforced by Python. For the last one, the double underscore before the variable name private indicates that it is a private attribute. This makes it more challenging, though not impossible, to access from outside the class. Now it's time to justify the theory learned so far. We can see that an instance of the access class is created, passing A, B, and C as arguments. When we run the code, we'll get this output. Looking at the output, we can see that we got the value of the public attribute v.public, which is A. Public attributes are accessible from anywhere, so this works as expected. Next up, we got the value of the protected attribute v.underscore protected, which is P, after modifying the attribute. But how? As discussed earlier, the single underscore is a convention to indicate protected status, but it does not prevent access or modification from outside the class. Next, we got an error in an attempt to access the private attribute outside the class. Why so? See, Python performs name mangling on private attributes making them inaccessible outside the class. Here enters the new term, name mangling. What is this now? It's a technique to access private attributes directly outside the class using this format. Applying this format in our code will give us access to the value of private attribute underscore underscore private. So the next time you see underscores before the data, you won't be worried because you already know what they are and what to do. That's it for today. Keep coding.